I'm a, uh, I'm a PhD biochemist, mm -hmm. and I've been focusing on uh, regulation of lipid metabolism, cholesterol in the blood, and how you can beneficially affect uh, heart disease, reduce the risk of heart disease. I've been doing that for 35 years. But this is the second time I started Asperion. I started the first Asperion 10 years earlier, mm -hmm. uh, which was bought by Pfizer in, uh -huh. in 2003 for $1.3 billion. Wow. And, uh, Unfortunately, uh, I don't think they appreciated the science that we did as much as we did, and so things didn't go where I wanted them to go. I wanted to get a product in the market. So I decided to come back and restart the company and do it again, try and do it again, and this time cross the goal line. To hear someone who's taken a business to a $1.3 billion business, I mean, overcome the hurdles of risk and just basically how he got to where he got, and it seemed like a lot of it was with the passion and support from strong teams. If you have a great place to work, people don't look at it as work. In other words, if you create a meaningful, purposeful workplace, and that's something that's extremely important to me, that people are happy in their job, they're utilizing their skills, they're integrating their skills with other people, uh, that the sum of the parts you know, is, is, is gonna be greater than, the, than their whole. So it's, you, you have the synergy, this collective synergy of moving things forward and, and, and being productive and celebrating it. So at the University of Oregon, we're very team focused. So I think it's gonna help us as we become and we enter into those kind of positions to kind of get to the level, hopefully, as great as him. But just hearing from someone with that kind of industry knowledge, just expertise is invaluable for our education versus sitting in the class. <laughs>